Smart technologies are everywhere nowadays and pet products are no exceptions. In this video we will talk about these smart technologies and I will make a review of some products I received from Bad Geek. Before we start, I would love to mention that this video is sponsored by Pet Geek. They sent me some toys and balls for review and you will see them later in the video. It's smart balls and toys, of course. Uh, you, there will be also links in the description to their products, so if you will like them, definitely check them out. I will be giving you the honest review. If I will don't like the products, if I won't like the products, I will not say it's the best product in the world. I will be completely honest. The motto of Pet Geek is that they want to make the life with our dogs easier and happier for them, which is the and the smart toys and balls are a great way how to achieve that, at least in my opinion. If we talk about smart and electronic pet products, the biggest market are toys. It makes a lot of sense because if a toy is moving by itself, it will definitely get the dog's attention and it's important because especially puppies will get bored quite easily even if you give them normal toy for example ordinary tennis ball they will play with it only for a few minutes if you are not playing with them they will not like it you should play with them it's important dogs are social animals but sometimes you just do not have the time it can happen this is where interactive and electronic dog toys come in those dog toys are toys that stimulate your pup's mind and provide Quite hours of fun. The first product we will review is this Pet Geek Foodie Orb. It comes in this white box, it looks pretty nice. Uh, start the ball rolling and keep the good times rolling. It's a feeding toy, which is great because if you have an active dog like Andy, he, you will need to stimulate him not only physically but also mentally. And feeding toys are a great way to achieve that because. Uh, well, all dogs love food, right? <laughs> and if it's moving by itself, it's even better because it, I hope it will get his uh, attention for a long time. Well, let's see how it looks. Looks pretty. It's pretty big. I didn't. I didn't think it will be this big. It's bad geek, yeah. Well, let's see how it works. Well, I think this toy is great. There are no trees at all, and Andy is still playing with it. He is crazy about it. He loves it. Only thing I'm a little bit worried, he's playing rough. So I'm not sure how long it will last. And I can't test it right now, but he's playing with it for an half an hour I would say and it's still going so it's pretty great now we will try the second product it's Pet Geek Play Bone it looks like this it's not a feeding toy but as we just saw Andy probably don't care about it he just likes how the toy is moving so play it to the bone I'll open it we didn't try this one as well this is not on batteries, it, it has a charger. Look at this, Andy. Andy, 
What is this? You look play with it? Yeah? Well, let's, this is how it looks. And let's give it to Andy. Oh. Oh, it's fast. Uh, Andy? Se te va a Hello? This is probably not how it's supposed to go. I'm mean, just catch it and bring it to his bed bed. So we will try it once again. Yeah, and they will just catch it and just stop it. Okay, now he's playing with it a little bit more. Oh, it works! Yeah, that's great! It's great! He's figuring it! He's trying to figure it out! What the hell is this thing? Where are you going, Andy? Do you have a new toy? So I think that a pet feeder, this is still playing with it. I think the pet feeder foodie orb was a little bit better, but I think Andy will have a lot of fun with this play bonus. Well, it's great that it's rubber at its end, so it's probably hard to uh, hard to break. We will see after a few weeks if it still works, but. Right now, it really looks that these toys are, are durable and Andy will play with them for a long time. At least I hope so. But the toys are not the only smart pet products. We have, for example, smart collars. Those collars can monitor your dog's body functions, for example, heartbeat, and most of the time they have GPS in it, so you, which is great if your dog gets lost. Also, we have some bowls and feeders, which can also monitor your, how much your dog eats, drink, and some of them can feed your dog remotely because you can control them with your smartphone. And as I said in the beginning of the video, we have a ball to test as well. It's this two-in-one smart pet geek ball. And the biggest advantage is that it has large LSD display screen, which clearly shows the amount of food you pour into it and indicate the battery level. It supports four units to calculate the weight, grams, ounces, pounds, and millimeters. It's great because right now, I'm always measuring the amount of food I'm giving to Andy. I think it's very important if you want your dog to be fit and not obese. But right now I'm using this old measuring cup, which is really not great. It's used and I think it will be much easier if I can just have the LSD display and I will see every time how much food I'm giving into. And it will probably be more accurate as well. It also has 5 degree inclination angle, ergonomically designed to encourage an easier and healthier eating position for your pet and it has removable container, easier to clean, safe for dishwasher. It also, it's two in one bowl because it has two different containers. One typical bowl, stainless bowl we are using right now and one bowl for slow eating. It's plastic bowl and if your dog has some digestive problems with his stomach because it's fast eater, this is something that might help. Let's open it up. Oh, what's, the, what's the slogan of this one? Every meal counts, so weigh and count every meal. Yeah, this is the benefits. Portion control, scientific feeding advice. Because you can download the Bad Geek app where they will give you some devices and other stuff. 
I don't know if you can see it. There's some daily feeding guide, but uh, honestly, I would always use the feeding guide on your on your food on your plastic on the bag food. There should be better feeding guides, but this is great. It can help you if you if you are using some dog food that doesn't have feeding feeding guide. But I think all the foods have it nowadays. Again, it's on a battery. You will need to buy two batteries. It looks like this. It's pretty. It's pretty good design. This is the slow eating bowl. This is the stainless one. It looks pretty great. Let's give Andy some food. We will use the slow eating bowl because Andy is a really fast eater. But I'm not sure if it. We will see if it really slow down the eating. Now I will. I use the old measuring cup because I wanted to see if it measures well. It shows 124 grams, which is exactly or more or less like five grams the amount I put into the feeding cup. So it measures great. Now let's give it to Andy. He's very impatient. My bitch. Yeah, he's really eating slower. It's hard for him. I hope he will not throw everything out. I really like the design, it looks great. Andy just like the food, he will eat it from anything. Yeah, he probably doesn't like <laughs> the slow eating bowl, but it works. He's eating much slower. He would have this eaten like two or three times already. We also received the tons of other toys, normal toys, rope, rubber toys from company named Gigwi. I'm not going to review all of them because they are classic toys and this video is about the smart and electronic pet products. But I must say I like how they look. The, links to their, to, in, the link to their products will be in the description. Well that is it. Tell me in comments if you are using some smart dog products and what product from this video did you like the most. And again thanks to Pet Geek for sponsoring this video. Uh, if you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram and Facebook. Links are in the description and as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video.